Hi, this is Dr. Campbell. Today I wanted to talk about what leadership characteristics will eliminate Boston's Boston Latin School racism fireworks. Now, in a recent article, Boston Public School official Tommy Chang has opted to reinstate former principal Michael Contapasis to extinguish the fireworks associated with alleged Boston Latin School racism. Chang has taken a step backwards by endorsing a leadership style that has contributed to the present culture of the Boston Latin School. Chang can only expect to extinguish the Boston Latin School racism fireworks by recruiting leaders who have the leadership characteristics associated with promoting positive racial teacher-student classroom relationships. Now, in a recent article, which is titled, Michael Contapas is named Interim Boston Latin School Headmaster, it was reported that Contapas served as headmaster at the Boston Latin School from 1976 to 1988. Contapas graduated from Boston Latin in 1957. He was selected as the COO of Boston Schools in 1998 and served as the district superintendent from 2005 to 2007. It is ridiculous to believe that Contapasis will have the leadership characteristics necessary to appropriately extinguish the racism fireworks. If anything can be expected, it is that he is an expert and inhibiting any attempts to transform the school's culture to one that benefits black students. This type of behavior has become a primary reason why blacks do not trust school officials. You see, some officials, some minorities believe that they cannot trust white institutions because black students are convinced that white teachers are racist and prejudiced and reject white teachers' authority due to their experience with racism. Black students frequently find themselves in classrooms where their culture, racial, and linguistic identities are under constant attack that manifest as a multitude of disciplinary actions, suspensions, and expulsions. And so what are the leadership characteristics that perpetuate racism fireworks? Leaders who emphasize discipline perpetuate racism fireworks. This type of leader believes that students want to be disciplined. They hold the assumption that black students are untrustworthy and emphasize the usage of coercion, tight controls, threats, and punishments to eliminate any fireworks associated with racism. They discriminate against students by detracting from the primary function of teaching, which decreases educational opportunities for students. These leaders support teachers who discriminate against students who are not white, male, and middle class. Teachers with high percentages of blacks in their classroom are more likely to use an authoritarian classroom management approach. Black students react to arbitrary and autocratic white teacher disciplinary assertiveness by believing that a white man is still trying to tell them what to do. Leaders who expect to appropriately extinguish any fireworks associated with racism must have several additional leadership characteristics, which include the following. First, they must be servant leaders. Servant leaders take precautionary steps, remove obstacles, empower followers, and are persuasive. Next, they must have social justice leadership. Social justice leadership def leaders define and create theories and practices that ensure greater opportunities for all children. Next, they ha must have feminist leadership characteristics. Feminist leaders create child-centered schools by ensuring staff members treat students with respect and dignity. Next, there's participative management. 
participative management leaders focus on self-reference, relationships seen and unseen, information sharing and deciphering, and self-organization. And then there's transformational leadership. Transformational leaders develop shared visions within the organization, use research teams or school improvement teams as a way of sharing power, and allow teachers to experiment with new ideas. Transformational leaders create a reflective thinking process that results in rethinking patterns of historical behavior and enables followers to look at problems from different angles and facilitate second order changes. And then there's transactional leadership. Transactional leaders require compliance from employees in exchange for expected rewards. Transactional leadership receives support from bureaucratic authority. If a bureaucracy is to operate successfully, it must maintain an unusual level of conformity. And in this case, the conformity must come from teachers. Leaders who will avoid the fireworks associated with racism in the schools will have an ethical platform grounded in values too. This leader's ethical values will correspond to faithfully developing good relationships. In this case, the leader will focus on directly on enhancing the relationship between teachers and students. This leader will avoid the racism fireworks by embracing the development of a moral community and making the well-being of all students the fundamental center of all moral and ethical decisions. This is Dr. Campbell. You can read about this article as well as additional information on our website at www.positiveracialrelationships.com. If you want to talk about it, of course, you can call me on my direct line, 856 856- Five six six three two six seven. Have a great day and thank you very much. Yeah. Be sure to check out positive racial relationships dot com. Check it. Love, uh, yo, love. Pull your pencils out, classes and session. Let's focus on love and unable without a question. Visit positive racial relationships dot com. Leading classrooms together like a marriage bond. Kick racism out. That ain't what life's about. For more information, check the website out. You.